What is up YouTube? This is Rob from RP Model Railroads and in this video I have yet another unboxing from my friend Aaron and this box is going to be filled with more awesome Ephraim Valley Railroad custom trains. So let's cut this box open and see what's in here. I'm actually really excited for, well I've been really excited for all the boxes from uh, Aaron but especially this one because I know there's some pretty epic stuff in here. So. I'm going to get the wrapping out of the way. All right. Got some paperwork here. Cost breakdown and analysis. I will review that. All right. So, we've got paperwork I'm going to be reviewing. And now we're going to get to the awesome stuff. As you can see, everything is well wrapped here, obviously. All right. Let's go for one of these small ones here. Hopefully, I don't have to really cut into too much. Well, cut the end off there a little bit. Alrighty. And here we have an Effort of Valley Railroad maintenance of way maintenance of way flat car. So this thing's pretty awesome. It's got a uh, brake wheel on it. It's actually a former Tyco one. Former Tyco derelict uh, flat car here that's been repainted for the Effort of Valley Maintenance of Way team. So, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. And you can see it's got some yellow accents there on the uh, end of the flat car. Pretty cool. I'm probably going to use this thing to carry um, maybe uh, one of the tractors. I mean, I know these cars were meant to carry three tractors or culvert pipes, but for the Maintenance of Way team, I don't know. I might customize this even more. So, looks pretty awesome. All right, let's see what we got in here. Ah uh, yes, this is one of um, one of the cars that I actually sent back to Aaron for some redetailing. Here we go. Check this out. So this is the Putnik Salvage gondola, and uh, really what it went back for was to get this uh, custom scrap load in it. Looks pretty awesome. It's got some wheels in here, and this is all completely kit bashed, if you will, or custom. So man, this thing this thing looks awesome. And uh, now it is essentially uh, yet another gondola loaded with uh, scrap metal for the Putnik Salvage Junkyard. But uh, yeah, this, this just looks amazing. You can even see what some of these parts may have come off of. you got a wheel set in here, some old um, junk tank car parts and stuff like that. Makes for a perfect scrap load and uh, Aaron knocked that out of the park with the rust colored paint. So yeah, there's the Putnik Salvage gondola. And we've got some more stuff in here. Let, you know what? Let's unwrap this. This looks like a pretty neat little package here. Okay. All right. We got some Effort of Valley Railroad cabooses in here. Or caboose shells, that is. Here's one of them. Effort of Valley Railroad number 35. It's got a black roof on it. It's got some silver accents on the roof. A Tyco cupola caboose, if you will. And some white stripes there at the bottom. So basically just a generic caboose for the Effort of Valley Railroad, but man, this thing looks awesome. So I'll be finishing this off with the um, base and wheels, etc. And then here is yet another Effort of Valley Railroad caboose. This one with a white roof, same sort of striping down here. And of course the EV lettering and uh, window trim. So uh, yeah, these look awesome. So basically we've got a white roof caboose and a black roof caboose for the Effort of Valley Railroad. Those look awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. Packaged really, really well. Thanks again, Aaron. It survived the USPS. All right, you guys might already be able to see what's in here. We've got some box cars for the Effort of Valley Railroad. Here is a Effort of Valley Railroad reefer done up in a similar scheme to the Lehigh Valley Railroad boxcar, some of them with a black roof, white sides, and then um, green sides to the boxcar on the two ends. This just looks awesome. It's a pretty good imitation of the Lehigh Valley scheme, but obviously a little bit different for the Effort of Valley Railroad with the red Effort of Valley diamond. But yeah, wow, this looks awesome. All right, there's one. And then we've got another Another boxcar done up in a similar scheme. A 40-foot boxcar 
Effort of Valley service and style. That is the official Effort of Valley Railroad motto. And uh, yeah, there we go. So you can see it's got the same sort of black roof and green siding as uh, the uh, imitating the Lehigh Valley Railroad scheme with some other freight cars. But yeah, this looks, looks awesome. Sliding doors and, and everything. So this will get outfitted with uh, some trucks and couplers and it'll soon be running around the layout behind freight trains. All right. You guys might already be able to see what this is. Somewhat anyway. Let me see if I can get the tape off here without cutting anything. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I wanna do a big reveal here in a second. Give me one moment. All right. Here we go, check this out. This is a lifelike GP38-2 shell, high hood that's been repainted into the Effort of Valley Railroad scheme. This thing looks absolutely incredible. So of course it's got that second generation diesel scheme with the um, white nose on the front and back without a slant. Of course it's got a black roof, similar to the GP38-2 low hood that I got in the last box from Iron I was, or maybe two boxes ago. But man, this thing looks awesome. It's got white stripes down the side and the uh, Effort of Valley Railroad logo, number 1524. There's actually two of these in the box because I've got an engine and a dummy set that were repainted for the Effort of Valley Railroad. Man, this, this looks even more amazing. I've seen pictures of this, obviously, before the whole deal uh, was complete. But in person, man, this thing looks incredible. I can't wait to get the windows and horns back on it and get this thing sitting on a proper chassis and running around the layout. So, man, this looks awesome. And there is another one in the box, like I mentioned. And this is it. Let's get to this next. Back when the idea for the Effort of Valley Railroad first really came to fruition with the first Effort of Valley Railroad custom locomotive that Aaron and I kind of worked on together, the F9 and the Caboose, um, I always dreamed of having some high hoods to run around the layout in a scheme and over time we developed a unique second generation diesel scheme that would look pretty awesome obviously in addition to all the other locomotives that uh, we've collaborated on or Aaron's detailed completely on his own and these just look absolutely amazing. They definitely take the cake for me at least because I'm a big fan of of the um, high hood diesels especially the high hood GP38s and uh, the lifelike model is just a perfect replication of that in my opinion. So here is the second Effort of Valley Railroad, High Hood GP38-2, number 1521. You can even see here, if I bring it up closer, Aaron added some details there, the GP38-2 logo right below the uh, window. And man, this just looks, looks just as awesome as the other one does. So they're going to be quite the pair on the layout, that much is for sure. All right, set that aside. And we've got more stuff in here. More epic locomotive shells. We're saving the best one for last, I think, in my opinion. Let's uh, get to this one next here. All right, big reveal. Here is Effort of Valley Railroad, number 4300. A Tyco Alco C430 shell. Man, this thing looks awesome. So just check out, just check out the level of details on this. You can see the yellow handrails, of course, the white striping down the side. And uh, unlike some of the other Effort of Valley Railroad diesels, this has the flag logo. Again, in imitation of the um, Lehigh Valley Railroad a little bit there, kind of copying off their style, but the Effort of Valley Railroad kind of copied a little bit, but definitely not with the scheme. So again, we've got the same second generation diesel scheme with the white nose and the on both ends, I should say. And then we've got the handrails. Man, this thing looks awesome. You see the level of details. And then you see in the front there, the uh, lights there are also custom painted. So yeah, this thing looks awesome. Really, really awesome. Alco C430. I cannot wait to get an MU2 drive into this because um, obviously MU2 drives are awesome, and uh, number 4300 will be running around the layout very soon. Man, this thing is awesome. I just, I just can't get over the quality of, of um, all of these latest stuff from Aaron, but especially uh, these diesel locomotive shelves. Man, they just look incredible. So there we go, set that aside. 
All right, here we have, okay, this is a repair. It's actually something that I sent back to Aaron for a repair and further custom work. I'll give you a hint, it's for the Alfreda Valley Railroad Maintenance of Way Team. Hopefully that's it. Here we go. It is the Africa Valley Railroad Maintenance of Way Tyco Wreck Crane. It's been given some more details, but most importantly, it has been fixed. Uh, the original uh, cord that was on this thing was kind of messed up because of the way in which I had to take the cab off to repaint it. So uh, Aaron went ahead and fixed that on warranty. And now it is complete. Check this out. So this is Big Hook. That's the nickname. Maintenance of Way Rack Crane for the Effort Valley Railroad. Basically just a repainted Tyco Rack Crane with some added details. Big Hook. Yeah, this thing looks awesome. Got some more details, obviously, including the uh, orange lights from the last time uh, I got this in. But uh, it's also been fully repaired and also functions like it should. I just need to get the um, little knob that I have for it around somewhere and then I'll be able to run around the layout. So check this out, it's now complete. And I ho hope to use this thing in a future video, maybe even a train wreck video on the layout. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again, Aaron, for fixing that, looks great. And now we've got probably my favorite part of this box up next. Here is Africa Valley Railroad AC 4400CW, number 4400. Check this thing out. This thing is absolutely amazing. So this shell was, I actually painted this and then sent it off to Aaron for the final details. And um, get the other phone pieces out of there. Sorry about that. And this thing looks absolutely amazing. This is a, an old Atherin Blue Box AC 4400CW actually. Uh, I picked this up unpainted, it was already unpainted, and it was an unfinished kit that somebody uh, started putting the details on. I finished adding the details and then sent it off after I spray painted it red to Aaron, and man, this thing looks amazing. Check out the details. You can see the uh, plow that I added here in the front, it's been painted, and then it's got a similar scheme to the, you know, Effort of Valley Railroad second generation diesel scheme, but it still looks awesome. It's got the uh, white stripes down here. Man, this thing looks absolutely amazing. And that is a wrap for this video. So huge shout out to Aaron for doing an incredible job on, once again, knocking it out of the park on all of these custom Effort of Valley Railroad freight cars and locomotive shells. They look absolutely amazing. And I also can't wait to get these cars on trucks and couplers and get them running around the layout. Same goes for the locomotives to get them running around the layout, which means you guys will be able to see some videos of these locomotives in action on the layout here very soon. And by the way, feel free to comment down below what your favorite Effort of Valley Railroad locomotive is, whether it's in this lot or in previous unboxing videos or videos on the channel that I've done before. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day.